Hi, welcome to Synergy Files. My name's Laura Cornelius, and just to freshen things up, we've decided to go for a different presentation format on this channel. Note that Dr. Haroon Janaidi is still involved in the content research. This video will be about the Tesla Cybertruck and the artistic concept of the deployable solar power option. We will examine if that concept can be engineered, and if so, what are the challenges? So without further ado, let's begin. Tesla created ripples again last year when they revealed the Cybertruck. Elon Musk later posted about his plans to have a solar option that could add 15 miles a day, possibly through a solar tonneau cover. He mentioned his desire for the truck to be self-powered and hinted at the possibility of adding fold-out solar wings that would generate 30 to 40 miles per day. This claim really inspired many engineers and designers across the globe, even though it has to be pointed out that the idea isn't novel. Sono Motors, a German startup, has been working on Scion, a self charging electric car since 2017. As for the Cybertruck solar option, a 3D artist, Slav Popovsky, created a very realistic render of the Cybertruck, in which he showed a concept of extendable solar panels that get deployed when the vehicle is parked. Unlike other concepts, this one was more aesthetically pleasing. Popovsky's concept has reinvigorated the admiration for the Cybertruck, not only among the Tesla fans, but the tech enthusiasts in general. However, the million dollar question is, can this concept be realized? Can this be engineered? Well, they often say that an artist's dream is an engineer's nightmare. Is it going to be the case? Let's take a deeper dive into this artistic design to find out. We will first work out the area covered by the panels. Next, we will estimate the added weight of the solar array system. Further on, we will look at the dynamics of the sliding mechanism. And lastly, we will address the electrical connectivity challenges. So, let's begin with the covered area of the panels. If you examine the primary panel in the video that doubles as a tonneau cover, then we know through Cybertruck's dimensions that its area should be about 2 meters by 2 meters. Now, assuming all the panels sliding out of the primary panel to be of the same size, the total array size comes out to be 24 square meters. This covered area points to a total power of 4.8 kilowatt for the whole array, if solar panels of 20% efficiency are used. Bear in mind that Tesla's own solar panels are just slightly under 20% efficient. The animation mentions this system to be a 5 kilowatt system, so we aren't far off. And with solar panels of 21% efficiency likely to be available in the future, it can indeed be a 5 kilowatt peak power system. The added weight, though, is something that cannot be ignored. Based on a very reasonable panel weight density of 12.5 kilograms per square meter, the total weight of the array comes out to be 300 kilograms. This is the weight of the panels alone. The weight of the deployment masts and the attached hydraulic system would be separate. Note that there is a dual mast shown in the video. Both of them need to be sturdy because of the possibility of high wind load on the panels. With the system's electrical contacts considered, one can estimate the total weight of the 350 kilograms at all times in the trunk. This would reduce the mileage of the vehicle. According to the specs, the Cybertruck gives us an average 2.4 miles for every kilowatt hour stored in its battery. With this extra weight, there will be a 12% higher rolling resistance. As rolling resistance makes up 50% of the total energy dissipation in a vehicle at low speeds the total mileage will drop to 2.2 miles per kilowatt hour. So that is one disadvantage that needs to be factored in. But it is not a big penalty considering the potential of solar energy that can be captured. On a sunny day, up to 24 kilowatt hours can be captured by this 4.8 kilowatt system. This equates to 52.8 free miles a day. Which means with this solar deployable system, there is the possibility of not using any plug-in charge at all for most users. Let's now look at the dynamics of this design. A normal solar panel is 40 millimeters thick. The thickness comes from the aluminum frame and the junction box. We can remove both these components to keep the stack of panels thinner. For this purpose, the glass cover can also be replaced with thin transparent plastic sheet. 
Doing this will reduce the stack thickness and weight substantially. However, we will run into another problem, which is that of rigidness. When the panels are extended, they will not be stiff enough to bear any pressure exerted by the wind. Therefore, it is suggested that the glass cover is removed, but the aluminium frame is kept. The frame, however, will have to be trimmed to 20 mm thickness. This reduced thickness will be good enough for flexural rigidity and will allow slots to be cut into the frame that will act as guide rails for panels that will slide out. If we look at trends, then technologies that allow us to fold equipment have come a long way. We not only see foldable electronics due to advances in linkages and hinges, but also bikes, furniture and even whole houses. If the links are perfectly counterbalanced, that is for every link that goes up, there is another one that goes down. Then the power requirement to unfold the equipment is minimal. Likewise, systems with whole solar panels arrays that can be folded have been developed so that they can be transported on a lorry. These can be deployed for providing power during emergencies or events. In the Cybertruck's animation video, a sliding out mechanism is shown. It has to be pointed out that foldable options could also have been used, which could have been, mechanically speaking, simpler. It has to be mentioned that the sliding out mechanism is not undoable. It would, however, require rack and pinion actuators. The rack will be housed inside the slots cut into the aluminium frame. The motor attached to the pinion can be housed within the frame behind the back sheet of the panels. Each moving panel would have at least two small motors that would work synchronously to push the panels out. The final piece of the puzzle is the electrical connections. In such a dynamic configuration, we cannot connect the panels through normal wires and connectors. The transmission of power from the panels will be done by a solid bus bars mounted on a separate frame. That will latch onto the panels once they are in the fully deployed position. At the points where the bus bar meets the electrical terminal of the panels, the contacts will have to be spring-loaded. This frame will also provide support to the extended panels that are not directly connected to the mast. So, there you go. We have analysed the concept for you. The design has its challenges, but can be engineered. The beauty of this system is that it would free up 95% of its users from the need of plug-in charging. So your coffee break at services during a highway run is not just a coffee break, but an extra five miles in the tank. The cost of adding this option to the vehicle would be at least an extra $2,000. This is based just on the bill of materials, including the panels, mast, servo motors, electrical connects, etc. Adding profits may push the cost by an extra $500. So the question now becomes if you would like to pay an extra two and a half grand or possibly more upfront for a self-charging vehicle, or would you keep the vehicle lighter to keep the mileage higher and use plug-in charging? The latter option also frees up your trunk space. It is also obvious that in more sunnier locations, the solar option would make a lot more economical sense. The payback period, therefore, can vastly differ. And with this, the video is concluded. Follow our channel for more in-depth analysis of upcoming sustainable technology. If you like the video or like this new presentation format, then please do give a thumbs up. If you prefer the old style, then do let us know in the comment section. Thank you for your attention.